Joy so beach, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Guys, listen, have you noticed that the things we predicted would happen are actually happening before our eyes? One of those things are men approaching women. It does not happen much anymore. It's a very, very rare thing. And over the course that I've actually spoke on this particular topic, I've only seen it get worse and worse and worse. And here we are. It used to be that men only didn't approach women they didn't find attractive. But now all these chicks are complaining about men not approaching them. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. Hope you brought a coffee with you. Let's get it. Do y'all want to know something that I've realized as of late? Let me tell you what I have noticed. In the past about maybe six months, right? Mm -hmm. I've noticed that when I go out, men don't approach me. And when I mean go out, I mean if I'm at the grocery store, going out for a walk, getting dressed up and going somewhere, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Men just have not been approaching me whatsoever. And at first when I noticed it, I was like, okay, this is different because I'm just used to men coming up to me, right? I had to realize, okay, when I'm praying and I'm asking God for protection in all areas of my life, I totally feel like my dating life has his protection over as well, right? Right. When we know that a lot of these men just want to come in your life and waste your time. And if you're praying for a husband, if you're praying for your spouse, if you're praying for companionship, you have to realize that God is probably making you invisible to like 99% of these men. He doesn't want these men to step to you because he already knows what it is before you even know. So now when I go out, I don't even expect men to come up to me for real, for real. Like I really just go out and I just be going out for a good time, of course. Yeah, I, I, I don't expect it anymore because I totally feel God's covering over my life in that area hmm. to really shield me from all the BS, okay? Because it's so much of that out there. So from one woman of God to another, if you're feeling discouraged or you don't know what's going on, that's probably what's going on, sis. God is saving you for your husband and making you invisible to all these men who they don't want nothing from you. They just want to waste your time. Okay. Okay. Um, let me, let me, let me first off preface this by saying that as somebody who actually does believe in prayer, I, I don't think what she's saying is far-fetched. However, 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 and there's a, this is a huge, however, a lot of women here are going through the same thing. I think there's a lot more to it than God is looking out for you. God is probably looking out for you if you pray to God. And I honestly do believe that he is, but he's making you invisible so that men don't notice you and aren't approaching you. And if you're not getting approached, then you're probably going through the same thing. I don't think even in her case, that's just what's happening. The truth is men aren't approaching women in general. They're not. They are not. Here's another video from another woman that says how to get approached by men, where she um, speaks about all these different women who aren't getting approached. This is happening more and more often. And it's just, to me, what's interesting is people's ability to flip things, you know, to something positive, which is good, but can borderline destructive to your main goal. Oh, I'm being protected. So let me not do anything to change myself be more kind, whatever, so I can attract these men. By the way, everybody's um, handle will be in the description. Let's check this out. I just watched over a hour, hour and a half of a live, a singles live, you mm -hmm. know, where the men and women get together to see if anybody makes a love connection. And I am watching the women in the comment section. Was it Kendra G? Repeat the same thing. Mm. They all are saying a lot, not all that they are never approached by men. Don't matter how they dress, where they go. These women lived in different cities, different ages, different races, different careers, different body types, different looks. Everything is different, but they share the same story. Men are not approaching me. Mm. I have a question for the ladies. Are y'all approachable? I want y'all to stop and think about something. That in today's world, 
Right. The men not only have to worry about the rejection of you saying no, they've always been afraid of rejection, but they have been brave enough to push through that fear because they want women, right? But nowadays they have to be extra careful because they could be labeled as a stalker, thirsty, sassy. Mm. They could be labeled as somebody who's harassing me. These men are not only afraid of rejection, but now they are afraid of charges, baby. Mercy. Because it's hard to date out here. Right. Men are crazy. Women are crazy. I understand why everybody got their guard up. But ladies, I ask you again, are you approachable? Mm. Do you look like a woman that this man should want to get to know? Are you automatically judging a book by their cover? Are you smiling? And oh, I know y'all hate when men tell y'all that. You know, they're not, none of the above. None of the above. Do you know how to spark up a conversation, but leave space for him to lead? Do y'all know how to do that? Some of that might be why y'all are not being approached. Mm. Are you going out in groups of women that's intimidating for some men? Are you on your phone the entire time? These are all questions that y'all really need to ask yourself. These are all questions that they don't care about. This, this is just, I, Chisha, you're being negative. Listen, bro. Listen. I personally don't think that most of these chicks are going to make it. I think the people who are actually going to make progress are putting in the work to first off ask themselves, what do I need to work on? What do I need to change in my life so I could qualify for the best possible person I'd like to marry and spend the rest of my life with? These are people who are actually seeking out this help, seeking out communities of people who are also wanting to do the same thing, whether they're talking to people who are married, whether they're, they're, they're listening to other people who have the results, who drink coffee, right? For my guys, these are the, these are the people who are in Brew Brothers and still value marriage. And they're in there with other men who are married and they're seeking out answers to questions that they have and they're also willing to do the work most of these chicks are not willing to do the work and the men good majority of them are not either some of them have already been married and they're not trying to get married again and it's it's going in one ear and out the other for most of these chicks but i don't think that what this woman and myself or anyone else who's serving coffee he's doing is useless at all, even if it just helps one person. And I really do mean that as you listen. Ladies, if you are single and ready to mingle, are you making yourself approachable? And approachable don't mean you outside naked, dressed in heels every day. Approachable just means, are you giving the signal that you want to be talked to? Y'all answer in the comments. I want to know. All right. So she's like, hey, are you giving the signal that you want to be talked to? And here's another chick who's going through the exact same thing. Her video is titled compliments are good, but what about a date? Right. Struggling to get guys to approach. Check it out. Guys, I've been single for a while now and um, I get compliments all the time. I just literally was walking past these two gentlemen sitting outside and they were complimenting me and telling me, how beautiful I am and how fine I am and all right. that. And that was the end of it. You know, they were just complimenting me and I kept it pushing my merry way. Neither one of them tried to talk to me, which is cool. I am i don't want everybody to be trying to talk to me or anything like that, especially when I be out here walking and vibing, you know, my own little world. Right. And I'm super appreciative of it because I don't know if y'all can tell, but I don't have any makeup on today. It's Sunday. And Sundays, I generally don't wear makeup. Um, and really, I don't wear makeup that much anyway. I just do a little mascara. Y'all know that do my brows a little bit, but today I didn't even put any mascara on because Sunday and it's kind of like a, a low vibe day for me. I just feel like what am I supposed to do with compliments? You know, I really appreciate them. And I don't mean to sound like if it's coming off a way, I don't mean for it to come off that way, but I'm just ready to start dating and I'm ready for somebody to take me seriously and to like be for real about me and like show me like, you know, that something, you know, other than just complimenting me because compliments are great. But at the end of the day, I can't do anything with a compliment. Like chances are the the dudes who are just shooting compliments for a far, you know, old heads or, you know, that's the thing. 
You know what I mean? They may be working construction or just some guys who are hanging out together. But the thought of getting involved with a woman and trying to figure out if she's a headache, a modern woman today, you're like, no, thank you. I'd rather just say, you look great today and just give you that free validation. And that's it. My daughter, she's 14. She's the youngest one. Um, in a few years, she's going to be an adult and I'm going to be an empty nester. So I really just feel like I'm getting to a point where a place where I want to start like seriously trying at least to date. And I know it's like, don't listen to these modern women, ma'am. Do not listen to them. It's confusing because, and it's confusing to me also because one minute you want to date and the next minute you're good on dating. And that's how it generally is when you're single, especially in today's world, because there's so much mess to, you know, that comes along with dating, but I do want to date. I mean, no one wants to be single. Well, I don't know. A lot of people this day and age don't mind being single, but ultimately I don't want to be single. I want to like, I don't know, get married. Maybe me and my husband could travel the world because like I said, I'll be. Now I feel bad for this chick. I feel bad for this one. Guys, when I see women like this who are on the fence and she's like, I don't know, da, 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 lets me know that she was turned to the dark side by the, 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 the women online. And um, here, here's what I'll say to anybody who's on the fence. In most cases, it comes down to the fact that they're wishy-washy because they haven't made up their mind. And part of the reason they haven't made up their mind is they haven't accepted the reality of the consequences, the pros and cons of each path. So let's say you want to be single. If you want to be single, even as a man, you have to understand that like, okay, I'm just going to date and sure, my relationship won't be stamped or, or, or legally recognized or whatever. But I may have relationships that I really cherish, but I won't have that legal obligation. I won't have to take care of a family. I'm just out here dating. And one of the cons of that, well, when I get older, I'll have to accept the fact that I don't have a family, a legacy, whatnot. It's okay. You're allowed to choose that. You may regret it. Cool. But that's the, that, that's the con, right? Or you can choose to have a family. And the pros are all the great things that come with having a family. What are the risks? She might leave you. The, 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 the divorce statistics are pretty grim right now. Let's be honest. But let's say you find a woman who drinks coffee, still not a guarantee. All right, but it does help. And you make sure that you do everything to fight for your marriage. And then you are the other half of the 50% that actually makes it. All right, now you have the benefits, but the risk is the con. And then also, you know, it's not easy to maintain relationships, build a family. It's not easy to raise children. It's tough work cooperating with somebody else in your life. People are wishy-washy when it comes to these conversations and the women who don't know if they want to be single or be in relationships a lot of the times because they still believe in the fairy tale once in a while. You've got to accept that the road you're on, the singleness, it comes with its own problems. You're going to be lonely and you don't get to lay there and your kid now gets older and now it's time for me to look for a man and you're older and you have less to offer a man because your sexual market value is predicated on your age as a woman. This is just the truth. You guys have seen the videos. The 50 year old woman was honest. She said, hey, men who are my age who are 50, they're not checking for women who are my age. They want younger women. If you get into a relationship, you're going to have to deal with cooperating with that man. And then you stick to it and you don't give up and you don't divorce. I'll be empty nester. So, you know, I don't know. I was thinking about that, though, while, you know, I'm out here on my walk that I generally do. But have a blessed Sunday, everybody. All right. Let's check out some of these comments. So the first comments I'm going to read actually come from um, the original video from the first woman who said, Hey, I think God's making me invisible, right? And that's why men aren't approaching me. Uh, first comment here says, this is why literally nobody talks to me. God is not letting nobody waste my time. Somebody else here added, I'm noticing this too, LOL. I don't mind it either. Here's somebody else who added, girl, look at you. They can't handle you. Somebody else who says, it's the biggest blessing from God. What's for you, sis, he will make sure you receive the right man who prayed for you. 
that's that. Overall, I believe prayer is a beautiful thing. And if you claim to be Christian, I just hope you're respecting your man and submitting to him like the Bible says. Yes, yes, yes. Don't pick and choose. So this next set of comments are from the video with the woman who was like, hey, um, I'm looking at these women and they're all struggling and can't get men to approach them. This is what the comment says. Here are comments from that video. This comment just says, literally watch the TikTok where a girl went to a coffee shop with her Kindle and was upset that nobody approached her. 684 likes. Somebody else here says, they told us that they'd rather be with a bear than us. Back to this comment. Went to a coffee shop with the Kindle and you're upset that nobody approached. Kind of want to find the video. We'll see if I look for it. Here's another person that says, most men don't approach women because we are done being kind, used, not being reciprocated. We also value our peace. There's a lot of truth in this. I think just modern women being generally unpleasant is a big part. If, if, if women were just a little bit nicer, it would make a difference. Here's somebody else who added, winter is coming. Somebody else who says, or being blasted on social media for saying, hey, beautiful. Here's another person who says, I can't say it for sure is number one, but definitely the top three. A lot of women don't want a relationship, just a sponsor. Once I get that vibe from her, it's a wrap. Here's another person who says, being seen as thirsty really did it for me as a youngin. And I ain't been the same since. This gentleman says, see if the bear will approach them. This guy says, they said, leave them alone. Here's another comp that says, I've been yelled at for opening a door. Shit, I, I got yelled at for opening a door. I was yelled at for holding a door open for a chick. She, okay, let me, let me be honest. She didn't yell she she spoke loudly i don't want to make it over dramatic i opened the door she looks at me she's like um excuse me i can open my own door I'm like whoa all right strong feminist goes on to say let alone approaching someone it's not worth it if she's not approaching me i'm not trying somebody else here says we tired the live emojis we dating ourselves now lol here's another person who says is it they aren't approaching them or the ones that approach them aren't their pick, so they ignore them. Hmm. Listen, of course, I'm curious to know what do you guys think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you as always for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.